Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a technology and business consulting company that helps organizations initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. This video, along with others on our channel, should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, peer overviews, and take part in lessons we've designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community, and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks, and enjoy. Most organizations are experiencing a disconnect between their longer-term strategic planning processes and systems and their more operational and tactical financial planning processes and systems. The finance and accounting teams, along with their IT partners, are the folks who can unify these processes and systems into one unified method to truly manage an organization's performance. If you've heard of the term Enterprise Performance Management, or EPM, this is what people mean, how to take an organization's strategy and to translate it into operational terms. If you can help your organization move in this direction, you have the opportunity to truly transform how you do business. True enterprise performance management efforts require strong business, IT, analytical, and process skills and talents. The problem is that this requires coordination across processes and groups that are not usually officially connected. Based on Performance Architect's long experience and quantified by Gartner Group's research, this white space between functions is usually where EPM fails. As a result, we advocate that your organization should create an EPM Center of Excellence, which is sometimes also called a BI Competency Center. We don't advocate the latter. Who wants to be competent when you can be excellent? Now, this doesn't mean you need to pull people out of their day-to-day -day roles, although we have seen companies put people on a leadership track on a management rotation process through a stint in an EPM Competency Center. The EPM team often is a virtual group that supplies necessary skills and talents when needed. We also see companies very successfully and very frequently set up an EPM team that is full-time dedicated to this work and this process. It really depends on the size and scope of your organization's EPM efforts, which direction you want to go in. Most people used to perceive BI and EPM as an IT job because BI and EPM systems were immature and just sourcing data was a huge IT challenge. Now that these solutions are much more mature, the focus has shifted from data collection to data analysis. With this process shift, we're also seeing a shift in ownership of the EPM Center of Excellence to the finance team. This is really because finance and operations own the strategy and management plan, formulation, and process. The benefits of EPM are many and are primarily related to increasing the efficiency and effectiveness of your organization. From a pure cost perspective, you should be able to consolidate applications and processes. Your organization will also become more effective because there's a huge benefit to being able to stop arguing about data quality and instead starting to analyze outcomes and the implications for your organization. Of course, we almost left out the most important question. How in the heck can we fund this group? We here at Performance Architects have seen funding models during engagements with clients including billing out as an internal consulting organization, in other words, services-based, or a more standard allocation of overhead across the entire organization based on usage or a shared overhead. 